For the past three years, Devin Frederick has dominated the People's Championship, taking first place each year. This year, the course has unforeseen challenges as the layout has become flooded due to heavy rain leading up to the event. Will Devin claim first place at the end of day one of the event? Stay tuned as Disc Golf Monthly starts now. Welcome to another edition of Disc Golf Monthly. We're in Whitehall, Pennsylvania at the Jordan Creek Disc Golf Course for the People's Championship Disc Golf Tournament. Hello everyone, I'm Carl Cubbage, joined by the legend in Delaware, Jimmy McIlvain. Jimmy in Pennsylvania, we're at a gem of a course, Jordan Creek. It uh, was one of the courses they used in the 2005 World Championships. Tell us something about this great course. Yeah, the course was redesigned in 2005, just before the Worlds. Uh, at the time, it was a simple par three course, uh, probably about 5,000 feet. They stretched it all out, redesigned the whole course, added cement tee pads, and like you said, it's a gem. It, 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 it's got it all. There's water OB, there's elevation change, there's, there's you know, a variety of shots. There, it, it's, it's a top 10 course around. Well, Jimmy, we had some heavy rain before this event that caused some changes in the layout. Tell us about that. Yeah, we're not going to be playing hole two. They added a uh, temporary hole, um, 8A, I think they called it. Um, hole two was completely flooded. Uh, there, was, there was some other, you're going to see some other issues. I think eight actually has uh, standing water. Um, they actually had to get a couple of rule changes to allow you to play beside the water rather than necessarily straight back from it. So the TD, Mike Solt, he got the PJ to prove some things up. At one time, it looked like they might have to cancel the event or move it. I mean, it was that bad. The, the river flowed up, and as a matter of fact, you'll probably be able to see just how bad the river was running during this round. Well, in eastern Pennsylvania, we do have that problem with quite a few courses when the water gets rolling, these things flood out. Well, Jimmy, it's good that they got everything ready to go for the event, and... Uh We've got some rule changes to make it happen. What's it going to take to play well here at Jordan Creek for this event? This is a huge variety course. I mean, there's some, like I said, there's elevation change. There's lots of, you know, turnover shots, you know, righty hyzers. There's um, course management is going to come into such play. You know, the, the experience, you know, you're going to have a couple guys, you know, the guys that have more experience probably are going to have some big advantage here. Uh, this isn't really a huge distance course. I mean, there's a couple holes. There's a couple holes that distance play into it, but but more I think is going to have more to do with, like I said, course management. Well, Jimmy, course management is the key there. And why don't we go down and see how they're managing the course during the previous round highlights? Jay Kofer driving basket eleven. Jay pumps it up there, nice and high. Coming back to the left. Good throw, Jay. Nate Crime, buddy, putting basket 12. Nate drills it. Nice putt, Nate. Hannah Leatherman driving basket 11. Hannah with some great explosive form off the tee. Cutting back to the left. And she will have a look. Hannah Leatherman putting basket 11. From downtown, the jump putt. Nicely done. Bill Straub, driving basket 17. Bill from Delaware turns that thing over. Nick Feedy, putting basket 15. Nick with a jump putt. Oh, just over the ribbon in. No chains required. Owen Harmon, driving basket 15. Owen with a nice shot there. Pin high. Oh, and putting basket 15 for the two. No doubt about it. Kyle Moriarty driving basket 15. Kyle makes a run at that basket as well. He's going to slide right under it. Steve Bro putting basket 15. Nice putt, Steve. Bill Sharon driving basket 15. Bill going right at it. Oh, just misses. 
sporting the... Bill with a putting basket, 15. Oh, he's got it. Look at that nice Mr. Disc Golf Grateful Dead shirt. Richie Klingler, driving basket, 14. Richie puts that up there, bending back to the left. Right there, parks it. Anthony B, putting basket, 12. Anthony just over the rim, solid chains. Glenn McCoon, driving basket 14. Sends it right along the left side. He's gonna have a little look there, but no problem. Glenn putting at basket 14. No problem. Slides it around, gets the two. Larry Entz, driving basket 13. My good friend, Larry Entz. He's a great player. Look at that thing, just ride the wind. Coming back to the fairway. Great shot. Parked it. And Kyle Moriarty putting basket 15. Kyle nails basket 15. And that's it, folks, for the previous round. Highlights. Well, Jimmy, it's always great to see the talent showcased in the previous round highlights. Some super shooting on a great course. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of variety of shots upcoming. Uh, these are some really good players. And like you just said, we just saw a lot a lot of different shots out there. Well, we got to see a lot of good players. Who are the players that we're going to be following during the second round on the first day of this event? Okay. In first place with a 48 is Justin Kogan from Whitehall, PA. In second with a 49 is Chris Frederick from Warfield, PA. Tied with a 49 also is Tim Reyes from Upper Chichester. And tied with him also is Devin Frederick from Hunter Town, PA. And in fifth place with a 50 is Bob Hoffman from Landville, PA. Well, Jimmy, that's quite a group. And Devin Frederick, he just had such a hot hand, the way he's developed. He's really tore up a lot of tournaments. Yeah, he came on. Uh, him and Boho are probably got two guys with the most experience here. Uh, Devin came. Devin was been playing since he was a kid kid. I mean, uh, he's really been coming on, I think, from like 2001, 2002 return pro. And he, he's, he's constantly gotten better each and every year. Finally gotten sponsored by Innova, and yeah, if there's someone to beat out here, it's him. Uh, I mean, Boho has been around for a long time. He's one of you know top 10 percent of the players, probably for the last 20 years in this area. And then the other three players, they just don't have the experience yet. They don't have they don't have the experience of the wins. You know, one of the things is you have to learn how to win. It's like any other sport, and these guys haven't been there yet, but. The cool thing is you have to win sooner or later. You know, you have to have that breakout time. And it's you know, and each one of these guys has the talent. It's just whether or not they can put rounds together. You know, you're gonna see it in you know, shot shot, they have it, and then it's like, can he really pull it all together for one tournament to take one of these guys down? Well, we'll see if that happens today. Jimmy, with the with the two guys that you say have the experience, what do you see as an edge with the shot arsenal they both have? <sighs> You gotta, you gotta always give the edge, you know, to Devin on this course. I mean, he's won, you know, I don't remember if it's three or four times in a row. Uh, he's a sponsored player. He's a little bit younger. He he knows this course a little bit better, you know, than Boho. Uh, Boho is so consistent, though. I mean, he, like I said, he's been around for twenty years. If I'm going to give an edge, I'm giving it to Devin. But I would not be shocked to see, you know, Bob just come in and, you know. Stay really tight and let Devin make a mistake. That's got to be his game plan. Well, we've got some interesting dynamics with the four, five players that we're going to cover. We're going to take a quick break, folks. We hope you stay with us. Sounds like we've got a great People's Championship coming up. All right, folks, here we are with our five competitors as we start the second round. Justin Kogan with a one-stroke lead over Chris Frederick, and it's a tight grouping right behind as we start off, Jimmy. Here we are on basket five. It's a par four, 517 feet. 
watch out for the river on the right hand side here especially on your approach shot Justin with a nice shot there yeah that's pretty much money that's right where he needs to be Let's see what Chris has here as he tees off pretty explosive Yeah, he got some juice well, on that that's one. a nice shot. Devin Frederick. He's got a hot hand as well, but catches a tree and sends it left. Kicks left aren't as bad. Anything right is just, you're done. Bob sends it low. It comes up and tags a tree as well. Got some work. See, even with Devin's bad kick, he still has a shot at getting in this basket. Got to be mindful. There is water behind this basket. You can see the bridge there. And Devin looks like he's going to be fairly close. Tim Reyes, the lefty, sends it close to the parking lot. Justin cranks it outside those trees and brings it back in. It's a nice shot there, Jimmy. Bob has a very unique way of crouching down as he's throwing approach shots. He does stay low to the ground on that. He's right there. He has a lot of power in his arm rather than his whole body. He, he really does. He keeps himself under control a lot. Slides that one up close. Good view of Justin here on his third throw. Wow, solid birdie by Justin Kogan. That's a nice putt for the water off to behind him like that. Great start of the second round from our leader. Tim Reyes pours it in. Got a little attitude there, I like it. Yeah. Uh, just let that off to the left side. See, the other two making the big putts puts a lot more pressure on his putt. Here's Devin near the water with an uphill putt. Oh, and he caught high chains and it just stays out. All right, Chris drills that one in there. Bob for the par. Bob the rim and in. Well, our leader picks up another stroke here. Pars for the rest of the gang. Moving along to basket six. It's a par three, 331 feet. It's pretty much straight off the tee pad with a slight bend to the right. Oh, nice little, kick. A little early kiss <laughs> off the tree. It kept Whoa. on going. <laughs> Big rip. Got all of that one, Jimmy. And the nice roll. You bet. That is a pretty shot. Tim can launch one yeah, down there. Yeah, sets up really well for Tim. Oh, he just let go a little early. Oh, and got a kick out. Devin with a lot of juice on that one. It doesn't, doesn't head right. Stays left. He'll Good still distance. have a putt, though. He really does get down. Yeah, he, <laughs> he has a very unique style of playing. 
All right, Tim's got to navigate his way through some trees there. Goes down the left side. Good run. That's a cubby shot right there, right? Love that shot. High cut shot. Bob looking like he's going to jump putt it. He does way up. Just misses. Good run at it. That is a totally different walkthrough putt than what we've seen in the past where he actually steps before and into his mini. You bet. I mean, there's no doubt about whether or not a foot foul either. All right, let's see if Devin can make a, a bird here. It's on his knees. Just over the top. All right, Chris Frederick, if he can get a birdie here, he can pick up a stroke on the leader. Nicely done, Chris. It's one back. Devin for the par. Wow, that had a little deflection to the left, but it stayed in there. Tim pours that in, a routine putt. Well, we've got a birdie from Chris. Makes it a little exciting. Gains a stroke on our leader, Justin Kogan. Everybody else with a par. Folks, we're on to basket seven. It's a par three, 313 feet. Jimmy, we've got some big OB here. Yeah. The, it's an old mining shaft. Any, any of these, any anytime you hit one of these trees along that water, you're in. And with the rain they've had, that water is up to the tree. Oh, and we've got an OB right there. Tough break for Chris. It's so, it's so bad they couldn't play the A-pin in the first round. They actually had to move the pin back. It, the A-pin's underwater. Our leader just cranks it way up there. Can he get through the trees? And he does. Tim with a low one. Oh, just God. I thought it was going to be parked. High, pulls it to the right. Yep. He's safe. There's a nice hill in the back too. You can't really overthrow this hole, so it, it's it's a go for it. A little bit low. Has he got the juice to get over? Um, well, I can't tell if he's made it or or not. If he's surrounded by water. Okay, this is the drop zone. All right, Chris on his third shot. Makes a run. All right, Bob with the OB, so he's on his third throw here. Made a good stab at it. Tim with a chance of the birdie here. Devin just pours it in. Nice, nice birdie. That moves him into second. Oh, tough shot there, Jimmy, right off the rim. Our leader. Looks like he's got a nice, easy birdie. And he does. See, that's two putts now Chris has missed that. I, I know he's got to be feeling like he should have yeah, made. tough break. All right, we had two birdies on that one. You can see a two-stroke lead by our leader. Devin Frederick moves into second place. Game on, folks. Here we are at basket eight. Par three, 302 feet. Okay, this is a flooded mess down here. This is where they actually had to get the special provision. Almost looks like another pond there, Jimmy. It's not OB, though. Tree and kicks right. There's a, there's a, right in the casual water there. Bob 
Bob stays down low. Makes a good run at it. Yeah, it's a nice putt there. You know, uh, Chris has almost got that Moser three-step uh, shuffle there. Yeah. He puts it right there near the basket. Everybody else is doing a four-stepper, Jimmy. Yeah, Chris gen actually generates a lot of power with his shots. Yeah, I don't think that was very fair. Because with shots like yours, that was... All right, Devin with a birdie try. Yeah, this is this is a really nasty upshot. Unlike the other hole, was was actually a block behind it. This has the actual opposite. There's nothing behind this. That shouldn't be too bad. All right, Bob Hoffman with a chance at a birdie. Move up a little bit. Oh, pours nice. it right in there. Nicely done, Bob. Devin for par. I change drops right in there. Tim, we can't see him, but he's back there. <laughs> And Tim puts it in. <laughs> nice par. Justin gets his par as well. Well, we've got two birdies for Bob and Chris. Still a two-stroke lead from our leader, Justin Kogan. Folks, we're on to basket 8A. It's a par 3, 245 feet. Jimmy, this is the hole we had to add because we could not play hole number two. That's correct. Nice alley there. It's a pretty simple hole. It's just straight 245 feet. Nice looking shot. Sort of just like that. <laughs> Plays a little bit front air for a right-hander, but, I mean, really the left, you shouldn't have much of a problem with this. Chris takes it right along the edge. See if he can get some skip and grab the grass and stayed. Our leader... Nice and smooth. That should come back nicely. Here we go. Devin with a big high rip. Well, I thought that was going to come back, but it just kind of stayed to I the right. I think he does so, too. I think he's a little shocked. Tim, the lefty down the left side. Should be okay over there. Oh, nice view of Chris's second throw here. Great time for a birdie. Just right, caught the rim. Devin with a birdie chance. Oh, he caught the rim as well. Tim, he, he's in there. <laughs> nice little shot out. Tim gets the par. Still a couple of birdie shots here. Justin, who's really close, extends his lead. Solid yeah. play, Jimmy. Yeah. The, the three pars there have to be heartbreaking. I mean, that's a 245-foot... What is that, 20-foot wide fairway? That's it. And we're moving on to basket nine, a par three, 404 feet. Our leader, three strokes up now, Jimmy. This is a new pin they put in just this to be the first time they've played it here. It's not as long, and it's not back by the river. This is actually deuceable. That's a nice shot. There are wood line on the right-hand side, though. Trust me, I knew I was in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a boomer cutting in. It's going to like that one. Wow, Chris was a little off on his timing there. Pulls it into the right tree line. He's going to have some work there getting out. Devin At least Devin knows it immediately that. <laughs> this sets up really well for Tim. I've seen him boom some shots. He just hides it, I think, a little bit too much. 
or Chris's third throw. He's got to penetrate that. Bob's got to get down on the knee. It's that wood line I was telling you about. He's trying to curl it. At least through. he didn't get inside it. He's in the wood wood line. Tim with a birdie chance here. Devin with a long birdie shot. Yeah, this is at, this is definitely a two hole for, for some of these guys. Oh, just around it. Solid putt. Nice work, Chris. Well, we've got pars except for Chris with a bogey there. Still three-stroke lead by our leader, Justin Kogan. Folks, we're on to basket 10. It's a par 4, 489 feet. There's some serious elevation on the second part of this. Everyone's going to be trying to throw to the base of this hill and then throw the big shot up. You, you can't even – you see the view there, Jimmy. It's much higher than it looks here at video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can see. Now, none of these guys are going for any shot. This has to be – you're just laying it up. Right you know, to the base. 200 the feet shot. to the base of that, and that's it. Devin's right there. They don't call this heart attack hill for nothing, Jimmy. That's the name of this hole. All right, and oh, that he should be okay there. There is water to the right if you ha happen to pull it too far to the right. Well, what's to the right is, is the hill on, on your second shot. This really shouldn't be much of a problem for anybody, but this shot now is you do not want to head right. The basket's up near the top, tucked to the left. Like I said, it's much higher than it looks. That was a good kick back into the fairway. Yeah, this hole's got to be driving Tim a little nuts here. Oh, and he kind of hyzered out. And not there it goes. That's a tough way to play this hole, Jimmy. Devin, he can boom one close here. This will get, I think that just gives you an idea of how hot, how yeah. much elevation is actually there. They're only about 220 feet from that basket. Big pull there, that's nice. Chris down the right side, but cutting back. Wow, and he gets up. Yeah, that's a, that's a really, really nice sweet. shot. Sweet. Bob was hoping to can that one. We can see Tim is down there. He's got his work cut out. Wow, that's a nice out from there. Devin for the birdie. Just caught uh. the chains. Justin, our leader. Can he get the birdie? He's close. Solid. Wow. This train is running away there, Jimmy. I, I, I'm impressed. So far, I'm really impressed. Tim with a high shot. Just caught the uh, upper part of the basket. That's one of those shots where you kind of play smart because if you miss, that, you're that, going down. Yeah, go. that... Chris just over through the second shot. I mean, <laughs> Bob pours it in. Actually, even Bob's putt is heartbreak when you're standing there, man. <laughs> a nice birdie. We've got a four stroke lead here. On to basket 11, a par three, 420 feet. It's just a big righty hyzer. 
you know, you just want to get it down straight enough. There's this, like a slightly dead tree down there on the left. If you can get past that, you're just gold. Wow, but that nice low setup just punches it down there. Just like that. He might be a little wide, though. That was actually... <laughs> three might actually throw too good of a shot. I like Devin's. That's looking good. A little short, though. You mm. really want to get past that one tree that's missing the bark. Well, that's past the bark. <sighs> Just a little low. Decent skip in. Tough shot for the lefty Tim Reyes here. Oh, he might got a little love, though. He got through. Tim, on his approach here, caught a branch. Justin with a birdie shot. The jump putt. Woo. Oh, Devin picks up a stroke here on their leader with that nice birdie. Oh, tough break Tim. from Tim on the par. Let's see. Right here, Chris could pick up a stroke on Justin. Nicely done. Bob with the chance as well. Yeah, that was just a nice drive. That was a boomer. And he's got the birdie. Look at that. Devin, Bob, and Chris all pick up a stroke there. We still have a three-stroke lead by our leader, Justin Kogan. On to basket 12. It's a par three, 294 feet. Okay, this this is sort of the same shot as the last hole, except that now you're throwing up over a rise to come back in, Heiser. Ah. It's not happy with that. Caught a tree. Devin just swings it and blasts it. Yeah, Devin's experience playing this course is starting to share through a little bit. See if Chris can keep the motor going. He sends it high up there down the right side. Nice to be a putt also. And our leader. Good looking shot. I'm telling you, Justin's got all all the all the tools to you know to play well here. And he is, Jimmy. He's he's riding it. Nice lefty shot by Tim. There's the basket. You can see Bob with if he can get a birdie here, that would certainly help the cause. The big jump putt. Just tails away to the left. Tim's got to get down on his knee. Good run at it. Chris with a birdie chance. Just slides by. Devin for his birdie. Hits the top of the basket. Wow. All right, if Justin makes this one, then he opens it back up to four. No doubt about it, Jimmy. I'm telling you, he's playing really well. Seems to be on autopilot right now. Bob put it in, almost <laughs> went out the back, but it stayed. Well, we've got the lone birdie by our leader, and he's just racking him up. Let's see what the rest of the field could do and if Justin could keep riding. As we move to basket 13, it's a par 3, 438 feet. This is downhill. This is just a straight crush. We've got a stream right behind the basket. Yeah, and it can Look definitely come into play. that shot. Oh, no. Great. Just got to hope you don't miss yank it right or left, and Devin is going left. Yeah. All right, let's see what Bob's got here. Boy, 
he just blasted down the right side. That's cutting a little left. Might Still should be a putt there. though. Good distance. All right, Chris Frederick here. Wow, that's a boomer. That's a lot of discs there, Jimmy. It's got to hook up, though. Wow. All right, that looks like we may have went OB right there. Tough break. We'll have to check it out. Tim holding the line but drifting off to the right, and he's going to have one in the woods. You can see Devin off to the left there. He's got to come out and sends it through. Right there at the basket. There's Bob. You can see him off to the left, kind of obscured in the bush there. Another walk through putt. <laughs> there he goes. Just lays it up. Chris was OB, folks. He's on his third shot. Close. Tough break there for Chris. Yeah, see, now that's how you turn a really good shot into a bogey. Our leader. Oh! Uh. He could have picked up another stroke there. He's been playing rock solid. Okay, folks, we've got three pars and two bogeys. We still have a four-stroke lead, and they're fighting it out at second, Devin and Bob. Folks, we're here on basket 14. It's a par three, 336 feet. This is a nasty righty hyzer. You want to hit the gap that you're looking straight at. It's a fun hole to throw. Basket's up on the left. You want to hit the gap sort of like that. In that's a, that's <coughs> a nice shot. Nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that one, Jimmy. Just like that. <laughs> that was textbook wow. for this hole. Got the wow factor on us, folks. Devin sends it through a little tighter line and catches a branch. I can't tell you how small that gap actually looks off the tee pad. It, it, it <laughs> yeah, you feel like you're looking at bowling pins when yeah. you're throwing there, Jimmy. Bob with the down low takes a similar line that Devin did and caught the, catches the trunk of the tree. Yeah, the camera's actually sitting on an angle so that you can see the hole better. <laughs> off that tee pad, it looks scary. All right, Chris hits the line a little bit low, but he's got some distance on it with a nice skip nice, to the yeah. end. Tim catches an early tree. Tim's not feeling this right now. We've all been there, Jimmy. Yep. There is OB on the left. There's a, a road. All right. Devin with a good look at the two here. Wow. Close. It just hung up there a little bit too long and didn't cut. Tim brings it in. See if Chris can get the birdie here. Oh, wow. You need those, Jimmy. Yeah. All right, Bob for the par. Whoa, he's got it. And our leader, if he gets the birdie, the train just keeps on moving. Whoa, almost <laughs> out the backside, but it was he's such got a, it. It was such a nice drive, though. Nice birdie. Look at that lead, Jimmy. He's steamrolling with a five-stroke lead. Folks, can anybody stop him? We're on to basket 15. It's a par three, 268 feet. This is just straight ahead. Uphill, very tight gap. There's lots of trees, and he didn't hit a single oh my God. one. That <laughs> is so. <laughs> it parked it. Wow, 
tough break by Devin. That really puts Justin in a position to get another stroke. All right, Bob's got to we'll have a good look. Doesn't really look uphill from the camera angle, but it no, is uphill. It is way uphill. There's another early tree. Sets up nice for a lefty. Tree there as well. Chris on his second throw. Nice, nice shot. Nice recovery there. Beautiful. See if Devin can match that. Wow. He gave that a run. <laughs> yes, he did. Tim with a delicate little touch shot there. Bob for the birdie. <laughs> I'm sorry. That stayed that, out, Jimmy, and didn't that, cut back yeah, at all. That, that just that looked like he just... Chris finishes there. I know he has to be disappointed in that. He didn't give it a run. Devin's in. Look at that, folks. Our leader just moving with six strokes. He's running away with it, folks. Does anybody in the field have a chance? We're going to take a quick break. Please stay with us for this exciting action here at the People's Championship Disc Golf Tournament. See you soon. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And unconventional methods, common. I'm a teacher. I make more. Welcome back, everybody. We're on to basket 16. It's a par 3, 282 feet. Our leader. It's been flawless up to this point, folks. Catches an early tree. Not too bad. No, that's not bad at all. All these guys are expecting to birdie this, though. Devin slides it. And that's right a nice there. drive there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll certainly put the pressure on Justin with that nice shot by Devin. Bob is pin high to the right. Chris sends that one up high. It's turning over. He's got a little bit of work. Might be a tough stance there. This sets up nice for the oh, lefty. Oh, it does. Tim's got to have this. Coming back. Nicely done. Bob with a chance at the two here. Wow, and that one just kind of turned over, Jimmy. Yeah. Justin, our leader. Kenny Birdie here just tails off. Chris with a chance at the deuce. Just falls short. Tim with a chance. For, he's got a good chance at a two here, yeah, Jim. Yeah, he uh, needs uh, this. Never mind. Just Wow. That's a tough break. Just teetered off of the rim. That's when things are just going bad. He gets the three. Well, we've got a birdie from Devin. Cuts the lead down. It's only five now. Still a big lead, folks. A lot of disc golf left. Folks, we're on to basket 17. It's a par three, 331 feet. It's a lot like the last hole. It's just, it's just longer and tighter. And there's a huge drop-off on the other side of the basket. Too. Wow, that's a good explosion. Just caught a tree. As long as you don't fall over on the other side of the hill, you're fine. All right, here's our leader, Justin Kogan. That looked like it got away from him, but it kicked back some. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, 
There's Open that up. low. Well, let's pull it over. Yeah. Now that's a nice shot. Wow. Boho goes low and puts it down there. Chris pumps it out. Oh, I think he got a bad mm. kick, though. Another nice hole for a lefty here, Jimmy. Yes. That's up well. Tim needs these, or he's just done. I mean, it, it, he's got to get it, you know, this is just about staying in the group, <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right, Justin, his birdie chance, kind of a jump approach almost. He was out there a ways. Chris with a forehand shot at it. Devin with a chance to get a birdie. Can he close the gap? That's a big, long putt. <laughs> but it stayed. There's a lot of rollways here. Well, I'll tell you what. Justin's going to have to make it now because Devin is close. Birdie chance this by Bob. This was a nice drive. Oh, this would be sweet. Oh, and he puts <laughs> it over the rim and in. Nice birdie, Bob. Justin's got to make this putt here. Oh, man, he sailed over. You got lucky to hit that log, though. He should be all right. That's a tough break because that's going to put Je uh, Devin in position to get a stroke on him. Devin just drills it. Our leaders for bogey. Wow. Oh, two strokes on this hole, folks. That was for... Oh, he's going to get the double bogey. Wow, look at that lead. Just what a big swing there. We've got a three-stroke lead. Now our leader's scrambling. We're on to basket 18, par 4, 528 feet. It's a hiccup, Jimmy, but he's still got a three-stroke cushion. Yeah, that, you can't even think about that right now. We've got an interesting hole here, Jimmy. Th this, this, is, this is a nasty hole. You either play this down, like just shy of that tee pad, or you go for it. And they've, they've got to get over the water at some right, point this here, is the Yeah, the second shot has to go over the water. Or your third shot, however how you decide to play the hole. That's the whole point. Sometimes it comes down to just right. where the disc lands. You, know, you can play this hole pretty much putter, putter, putter if you wish to. If you're not careful, you can hyzer out across the path there and B.O.B. Right. That looks like a nice shot into the center of the that fairway. That was a really nice shot. Beautiful. I'm Once telling you, again, Chris sets up for lefty here, Jim. Yeah. It's a great lefty hole. I'm telling you, though, Chris has got game. It's just he's not tying all, the whole thing together. Like, he'll miss a putt here. He misses, you know, he like, you see Devin miss a putt, and it just, he just blows it off. And that, you know, that's what I was talking about, the experience. And there's, oh, wow. wow. That is not good. Our leader's on his third throw. Nice he's recovery, got though. Got some work. Yeah, he didn't push it to try to cross that. Tim was going for it, but caught that early tree. Devin's in a tough position. If he could wing one over here, that would really play big. Uh, he's got to lay. I, I, yeah, I, he's going <laughs> to lay. Yeah, up. he's got to lay this up. Well, see, that's the difference. I'd go for it and be in the water. Devin's <sighs> setting himself up for. Uh, Bobo's a lot closer, but even that, I don't know. That, that's, and he's going for it. Come on, Bob. Bob splashes yeah, down see, on that one, Jimmy. When you get that angle, there's a there's trees on both sides of that over there. You've got to thread it. Yeah, and the trees are sitting in the water. <laughs> That's the problem. All right, didn't see that one land. I think he's dry. Our leader on his fourth throw. This is for par. Had a good run, caught a tree. I'm not yeah, sure how far that Yeah, if makes that it's not that bad. Devin not happy with that one, <laughs> but he got a good roll. Did get away back. from him a little bit, though. You can see that fast moving water there. Yeah, that water is up. Up, Heiser's out a little bit. Still not that far away. Okay, Chris on his third throw, looking for a birdie here. Just misses. 
All right, the bogey from our leader. Oh no, Jimmy side chains. <clears throat> wow, Devin, he uh, you can just know he's going to draw the par. And no, but he goes uh. up high. Well, let's see. This will tie Bob with Devin for second if he can drill it. Catches right side chain, sucks it in. Nice shot. It's got to be tough here with another double bogey from our leader. Folks, it's a two-stroke lead. They're still, it's running down, but our leader's got to hold on. But everybody's looking to make a charge. We're on a basket one. It's a par three. 331 feet. What do you think, Jimmy? Bad lefty hole. <laughs> water on the there's water on the left. It's really muddy down there right now, so it should actually anything down there it should stick. All right, that one headed off to the right. It's really muddy. You won't get the normal skip that you get go OB, but And if you do hyzer out, the stream runs right yeah. along the left side of this hole. Bob with a nice high cut, but he catches a tree in that. That's close. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one to call. He may be OB on that one. Devin, se Devin sends it up, going right at it, folks. Oh, just misses. Yeah, that's a really nice That shot. was an ace run. All right, Tim brings that in nice. Oh, you talk. Oh, Did I say it was tough lefty? lefty? Hole? Uh, he hey, drills okay. it. I took it back. Take it back. <laughs> All right, our leader's looking to put some juice Whoa. on it. Whoa. Nice wow. Nice shot, though. All right, Bob was safe, but he's on his second throw here. I'm trying to figure out how he was safe. <laughs> that was a nice second shot. Chris with a long shot at the birdie. Doable. Hits the rim. Boy, he had that one pegged. Our leader should be able to pick this birdie up and stretch out the lead. Oh, tough break. Justin, just <sighs> short. Look at Devin. He's going to grab a stroke here with a birdie. It's blood in the water, folks. Yeah, see, now Devin missed some putts early on. Here we go. Devin moves into second place. One stroke out. We've got a, quite a match going on here with two holes to go. This is the experience I was talking about. Devin missed some strokes earlier, and it didn't get to him. And I, I think this got to Justin. A couple Folks, strokes here and there, and boom. This is hole number three. It's par three, 339 feet. Devin, one stroke back. And Devin wow. took the inside route. That's hot. Uh -oh. And the fan what a kick, kick to the basket. Out. He would have had about a 50, 60 footer if that kept going. Yeah, there's an inside route and an outside route here. Yeah, the inside and route that happens. There's the problem of, the inside, of hitting the inside route. Bob, who's just one behind Devin. Sends it down. Gets a lot of D. Does not get the kick that Devin's got. So he's got, Still got a putt, though. some distance. He certainly has a good chance at the birdie there, Jimmy. The sets no, up was, nice as a lefty. It does. It If he can clear that inner gap, that is gold. You know, I like pointing that out because there's so many people that say there's courses that aren't lefty friendly. This certainly has a lot of a lot yeah, of there's, holes. A, there's a stretch that has like three or four right holes together, and then there's a stretch that has two. Our leader, three folks, he's together. only one stroke up, and they're all nipping at his heels. And just catches an unfortunate early tree down the inside route, Jimmy. Jimmy, what's going through his head at this point? It, that it's all slipping away. All right, well, he throws a nice and that's, approach shot. That's what I'm talking about. It, uh, someone like Dem or somebody isn't going to be going through that. They're not going to think about it slipping away. The, when, when you're playing against better players, that's what starts going through your head. When you're the, you when you are, get to the point where it doesn't go to your head, you're able to right, get, right. Keep when, it, when you're not, when you are the better player, it's just a. I'm going to get this back. Bob with a jump putt for the deuce. Come on. Come on. Oh, and he cans it. That was a great <laughs> nice shot. Spot. Beautiful. That puts him right up there with Devin. For now, Justin for par, our leader. 
Wow, he's really got to be frustrated That's there, Jimmy. That's really a tough break. All right, here we go. Chris gets the three. Now if Devin can get the deuce, he had a good kick. That will put him in the lead. Tim finishes out. All right, Devin. You wouldn't call it a gimme, but it's right there, Jimmy. That, was, that was a great kick he got out that tree, though. And he is the leader. Folks, we had a big, big lead. And now Bob slips to her tie to second with Justin. We've got one hole left in this second round. Devin's moving on. Let's see what they've got on basket four. It's a par three, 305 feet. Jimmy, you know, we thought the thing was basically over, and at this pro level, we certainly don't see that type of movement. No, it, th this is a little unprecedented. But like I said, you know, going into this, the experience and, and, and the <laughs> – these guys have to learn how to win. That's all I can tell you. That's all this is about. Well, you, and you can never count yourself out. Right, and they've got the talent. They've got the talent. You right. see it. If you can make a shot once in a while, then you've got the talent. It's about putting it all together. You know, and, and and Chris, you know, he's got the talent. These are guys who are just missing certain shots. They're certainly knocking right on the door. That's a great right. shot there. There's water right behind that ridge, folks. So they've got to be careful on it. Justin's just got to stay in this. You know, okay, I gave up the lead, but I can still get it back. Yeah, he's got a big hyzer on that. That took it a little... Bob with a nice smooth approach. Skips right there. There's another big drop off on Some of the too. lefty jump putt. The, the drop off back here goes back into another creek. All right, Justin, can he get a birdie here and grab back a piece of the lead? I was going to say, this just close. wasn't the place to do it. That was the place. You had, he had to Devin lay that with up. with a chance for the birdie. He can get another stroke here. Devin does. Takes yeah. a two-stroke lead. Nice putt there, Bob. Well, I guess I'll just have to take that. Or she, uh, All right, a little frustration there. Justin played solid. Just had a string of bad holes, Jimmy. Other than that, he looked, he looked super. Well, folks, there you go. We've got a birdie, a two-stroke lead by Devin. Bob and Justin tied at second. It was quite a second round, folks. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to wrap it all up. We saw a great round of disc golf. All right, Jimmy, we got to see some great disc golf from that group of five disc golfers. You called it. Devin had the edge and uh, came through. He's just a more experienced golfer in this situation. Uh, like I said before, these other three guys have a lot of talent, and, and, and it comes down to experience and learning how to win. I mean, you saw it with Justin. Justin had, like, <laughs> through – what was it, 12 holes? I mean, he had a lead. He had built up a lead to five strokes. Great position. And, yes. And then the final six holes, you know, he, he lost eight strokes. That, that's an experience thing. It's not a talent thing. He, did, he didn't suddenly not learn how to throw a disc. You know, it's just an experience thing that he and Chris and Tim will probably end up figuring out down the road. But at this time, like I said, when you start getting into two and three and four rounds of a tournament, you know, the experience and the better players normally start to rise up to the top. Well, folks, this was only day one of the People's Championship. Next month, we're going to do it again. We'll see who prevails in the finals, see if Devin can just ride that wave to victory once again like he's done so many years before. We hope you enjoyed the coverage here on Disc Golf Monthly, folks. We hope you'll join us again next month. That's all we have for this episode. I'm Carl Cubbage with the legend in Delaware, Jimmy McIlvain, for Disc Golf Monthly. 
the show that takes you one step closer to the sport of disc golf.